Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have already shown you how to design this one and how to backend code for this. That is update and delete student. So if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to description there I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the solution on the right side of the screen. Okay. So in this video, I am going to show you how to design for this one, that is student fees. Here you can see this, this one is popped up when I click on this. So I am going to show you how to design this one and how to connect this with this button. Okay. So let's start with this. This one is actually a complete project. So I'm going to close this one for now. And I'm going to open my project on which we are working. We are working on hostel management video. So here we go. So here the first thing what we have to do is we have to actually add one form. So for that, right click on your solution explorer and the project name. You have to just right click on that and click on add. And after that, you have to select form. I have selected this. And it's taking a little bit of time, not to worry. It depends upon computer. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to name this one student fees because this is quite familiar or similar name. Fees. And click on add and this will add a new form. First thing what we have to do is we have to just remove the form border. So right click, go to properties and maximize this one a little bit. And like this and we have to search for form border style here you can see this just select this and change this one to none and here you can observe now the form border is removed after this what i want is i want to change the back color for that let me go over here just click on this and change sorry copy the color code 151 comma 48 comma 103 right click and go to properties back color and paste it over here and hit enter now what i have to do is i have to set the size for this one so search for size, where is it is, here you can see this is the size, let me copy the size from here, just click on this and the sizes, let me maximize this one. So this form size is 875,512, so copy, right click and go to over here and we have to just write 875,512 and hit enter and now you can observe this stuff is big now. After this, what we have to do is we have to add few labels, text boxes, buttons, and one data grid view. So let me do that. Go to toolbox, search for labels. So first thing I'm going to add label. So just drag and drop it over here. Just click on this. And first I'm going to change the text. And first thing is nothing but mobile number. And after this, I'm going to change the text color that is a fog color change this one to click on this click on custom and select white after this we have to set the font size and the font for this one so i'm going to copy this from this one so click on this and let me select the font which font i have used is century gothic if you can't able to find that you can use any of the font whatever you like century gothic regular and 11 i am copying this so that this look familiar or similar you can simply say that so regular and size is 11 and hit ok and here you can see this this one is looking better after this we have to add few more labels actually let me count three and three six labels okay so I'm going to add six over here so one copy and paste this two three four five and one more there we go after this what we have to do is we have to actually change the text for the second one because first one is right so i'm going to change the text for second one so second one is nothing but name third one is nothing but email id fourth one is room number fifth one is month which month he or she is going to pay and last one is dues amount hit enter now here we go everything is in place and after this what we have to do is we have to add text boxes over here so i'm going to drag and drop text box so i'm going to use this guna 2 text box and if you have not watched my previous video then you must be worried about that from where i'm getting this guna 2 text box so not to worry 
you can just go to the description there you can download the Puna 2 DLL file from the description and there I have also put one video link in the description how to add DLL file into this toolbox okay after that you can start coding with me so I'm going to drag and drop it over here this one and first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to change few properties of this text box the first thing it's going to change the text color it means that whatever is written going to be written inside this one needs to be in the black color but by default it's set something off white or gray I can say so I'm going to select click on this one and click on black black select this four color after this you have to change few properties so move back over here in this text box so we have to change few properties that is the font as well so do UI and size is 11 regular so move back over here click on this so do UI and size is 11. Click on OK. And here you can see that this one is quite large. So I'm going to copy the size of this one too. So size 268,30. So copy this. Move back over here. Click on this. You can manually decrease the size with the help of this one like this. But I prefer with the help of these coordinates like this. Okay. So after this, what we have to do is we have to actually copy and paste few more text boxes as well so how to do that for that just copy this and paste this like this because when you copy and paste it copy with all the properties it means that for this one text box we have changed the four color to black then this text box is also for four color is black here you can see that let me copy the size of this one from the complete one so move back over here click on this and copy the size that is 547,30 so move back over here, click on this and paste and hit enter and we need to copy this one one more time and we need one more and finally one more and for the month I'm going to use data date time picker actually. I'm going to use Guna to date time picker and this is okay sorry. This one is different. Let me remove that. Date time picker. Where it is? Okay, sorry. Data. Date. Una to date time picker. Drag and drop it over here. Just click on this. And just we have to actually set the size for this one. So click on this. And let me copy the size. Click on this one. Paste it and hit enter. And we have to adjust this like this yeah everything is in place so we have to adjust this all little bit like this and here we go everything is looking nice so what we have to do is we have to adjust the labels according to that so i'm doing this with the help of keyboard you can do the same with this either mouse or keyboard here you can see this now everything is in place Okay, here we go. Next thing what we have to do is we have to add one data grid view and few buttons over here. You can adjust this according to your need, little bit on the right side, left side, wherever you like. I'm going to move these one little bit on the right side. Yeah, there we go. So after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add few buttons. So search for button, Tuna 2 button, drag and drop it over here. One button is needed over here. So first I'm going to change the text for this one. So I'm going to change the text to search. Hit enter. After this, I'm going to change the fill color. So change this one to 0, 0,118,225. Hit enter. There we go. After this, what I have to do is I have to actually copy the size from this one. So click on this and copy the size. In previous video, I have shown you each of these stuff. So I will suggest you to please watch that. So I'm going to copy the size 118,30. Click on this paste it over here 118,30 manually write it and you have to ch select change the radius border radius first of all let me search for that border radius I guess 15 yeah 15 here you can see this 15 okay so I'm not going to copy that I'm going to actually copy the font size so click on this search your UI italic and size is 13 move back over here click on this search your UI size is 13 and it's italic and hit ok you can see this this one is looking better now 
and after this we have to change the border radius search for border radius here you can see this, this one is 0 so change this one to 15 and our button is ready and we have to actually add one stuff that is the image icon inside this one so here you can see this image I've already provided all images and I can link already in the description just download that if you have not downloaded it yet okay and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed okay and please follow on the Instagram too so click on import and this will open your local directory and here you can see this I'm going to use which image let me just show you I'm going to use this one search open hit ok and here we go now the button is ready in the same way we have to add few more buttons so I'm going to copy this one and paste this again so copy this and paste this I need two over here so copy and paste it again and again so click on this and change the text first so change this one to pay the second one to clear and next thing what I have to do is I have to change the images for all of these two buttons so click on this click on import so for clear you know I'm going to use this one open and ok for pay I'm going to use the save icon you can add any of the stuff like yeah you can use this one too this one will look nice yeah there we go so now our button is ready you can keep a little bit of distance like this after this what we have to do is we have to add a data grid view inside this one so I'm going to use Guna 2 data grid view like this I'm going to stretch this here you can observe this one is looking better so we don't need to do anything else we have to just copy and paste and we have to stretch this one more button is needed to actually close this one so copy this and paste it over here just do like this click on this and just remove the text first after this we have to change the image so click on this import this one open and ok after this the button is quite small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on over this and copy the size of this one so image size is 30 30 okay so click on this and change the fill color first so copy this back color color code and after this you have to change one stuff that is this one fill color change this one to that click on this and here you can see that this one is looking nice after this change the image size 30 comma 30 and hit enter and this button is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to connect this one with the dashboard and we make we need to actually make this one functional so you already know how to make this one functional if you have watched my previous videos okay so this one is looking a little bit offside now like this so first click on this and change the button name so change this one to VDN exit double click on this This will generate a click event and I'm going to just write this dot close. Like this. And this will actually close my form. This one. Okay. So now this button is functional. And next thing what we have to do is we have to connect this one with the dashboard and we want to load this one in the proper position for that what we have to do is we have to actually set the coordinates on the screen for that just double click on the empty space and this will generate a load event for that and we have to write one thing where we have to load for that how to set the coordinate for the form for that you have to write this dot location is equal to new point and we have to mention the location 350 comma 170 so this coordinate is appropriate according to my system you can change this according to yours you have to just change the numbers and you can adjust this according to yourself I'm going to CTRL and save CTRL and yes I have pressed that button and we have to change one more property so here you can see this we have day date everything is over here but in our complete project we have only date so how to do that for so that just move back over here click on this and we have to change one property that is date format Okay, so let me search for that. Where it is?
just click on this yeah not this one let me search for that oh it's in our front so this one change this one click on this change this one to short and when you do that you can find only date over here and this one is looking better now everything is ready now one thing is remaining that we have to connect this one with the dashboard so how to do that for that just minimize this click on the dashboard double click on this and this will generate a dashboard sorry load the dashboard and change the design name for this one let me maximize this change the design name for this button so change this one to PTN student please hit enter now the name for this one is changed after this just double click on this and this will generate a PTN student please click event and after this we have just created it form with the name student please so we have to create an object of that so student fees sf is equal to new student fees and we have to just call sf dot show and just save it now let me start this and let's see It's taking a little bit of time not to worry about that. Most of the time it's made quicker, quick than this. So within this period of time, you have to just subscribe if you haven't done it. Okay, sign in. Just click on this and here you can see this. This one is working and this one is loading on the proper position and this close button is also working. You can start this again and yeah everything is working so that's it for this video guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to back and code for this so till then just stay tuned and subscribe and follow us on instagram thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends